Welcome back to The Zest. Today we have one of my good friends. She's a holistic health coach and a heart survivor, Megan, AKA, I call her Meg Dillon, and she's joining us to share three steps to fuel a healthy heart. Welcome, Meg. Hey, how's it going? Thanks good. for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So. Tell us, what does it mean to be a heart survivor? Yeah, so a heart survivor. Um, I was born with a congenital heart defect, um, commonly known as transposition of the great vessels. Two of my arteries were born in the wrong place, so they did a switch. Um, after a couple of surgeries, I've had three open heart surgeries, I decided like, hey, it's time to like take charge of my life because my life's gonna take charge of me one of these days. So. Mm -hmm. Brought me to be a holistic health coach. Awesome. Yeah. And you have a pig valve. I, I do. Yeah. So I kind of like oink, you know, all those kinds of things. Get a fever, smell like bacon. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. All right, so what are some steps to a healthy heart? What yeah. Are, let's, let's go over Great. some of these. So um, what, with Fear Your Heart, I decided to come up with three steps. We have the be love. So be love is more of like, how are we just like loving ourselves? Mm -hmm. um, there are days I wake up, I'm like, oh, the scar of myself. And it's like a quick reminder of like, how can I write a little love note to myself to make me feel great? Yeah, so here you have, be, I see, be love to uh, love, and you can write a little note. Yeah. So something like that, or maybe journaling. Yeah, journaling, anything that just kind of like shifts your mindset mm -hmm. and realizing that like, hey, you're really great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. And you could write it to someone else too. Yeah, um, like you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll write you on, you write me on. Yeah, all totally. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so be love, then what What else do we have um, here? So co consume love. Consume love is like that food, right? Mm -hmm. That feel, like my heart has to beat, so I have to eat. Um, and I'm always on the go, and I think of things of like, what is the healthiest thing that I can eat quickly mm -hmm. in my car, to and from, mm -hmm. and let's keep it healthy. So yeah. we have some Lara bars, um, unfamiliar with them, yeah, yeah. right? Super simple ingredients, dates, nuts, fruit. Yeah, done. did you try this one? So no, I haven't, favorite. but I'm gonna steal that from you. Right, it's later. like a little like, <laughs> treat. Um, and then obviously your simple apple, and then Oops. just adding some almond butter for- the Protein. Protein, all of that. And then my favorite, it's called, <laughs> I call it my heart fuel, and mm -hmm. basically what it is is just and, whoa! It's spilling a little bit. Yeah, that okay. happens. It was just like, <laughs> there's so much fuel yeah, in there. There's so much fuel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just like a nut milk, um, some greens. I um, smell it. It smells good. Yeah, smells so good. blueberries, all of that things just to like keep your heart alive. And then kombucha is something that I love for like my belly. Just mm -hmm. like digestive. Yep. Probiotic, all of those good things. So healthy, simple, simple, simple. ingredients. Yeah, simple ingredients, on the go, and obviously good for your heart. Great. Okay, so then... What's the first one? Be love, yep. consume, consume love. love, and then practice love. So it's like, okay, we have all of these things, and how are we gonna like maintain that? Mm -hmm. So practice makes perfect. Um, I'm a planner, and anything cute is what I like. <laughs> so planning out my week with a menu, just starting from like breakfast, lunch, my snacks, and then dinner. I love that. And when I plan for the, like the whole week, it's nice and easy. Yeah, and do you do like Sunday prep or anything? I like do. That? Okay. Sunday prep is my grocery shopping day, um, my meal prep day, and then I like plan out where am I going to be and then what's this is this, um, this is just like a weekly reminder for me so to-do list like what am I doing as far as like movement something is like what I like to do mm. is like practice yoga mm -hmm. go to pure bar all of those types of fun things so setting up like my workouts I have the water intake because it's a friendly reminder if I'm like checking through the day all the emails I'm like whoa I haven't had anything to drink <laughs> um, and then just breaking it down for goals for the week calls to make emails to send awesome. um, so like a one-stop shop yep everything and like you can oh, just like something that keeps me in line yeah <laughs> awesome so these are three ways be love consume love and then practice, practice love. love all right then what do we have here oh we have some you know cow juice why not cow juice we yeah, can cheers, cheers it. it so is this a heart healthy mm -hmm. mm. delicious so it a is. green juice green juice kale base is like the greens in it and then just Mangoes, bananas, strawberries, any types of fruit. I like mine like a little bit more sweet okay. than a little bit more grassy. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Thanks Cheers. for having me. Cheers. Uh, thanks for sharing your tips with yeah. us. And for more heart healthy tips, check out Megan or AKA Meg on Instagram at Fuel Your Heart. And thanks for tuning in to The Zest, a bi-monthly lifestyle show dedicated to all things health, home decor, food, and more. And if you or someone you know have a great show idea or you want to even just say hi, cheers some green juice with me, then please send a tweet to at Lindsay Smith, HHC. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on The Zest.